Hi, I'm Carmi Weininger. I am the founder and chief scientist for EQ Saddle Science, and I'm really excited to take you through the journey we've had to first discover and then develop this remarkable flapless saddle. We have two patents on it, and we've earned them through a lot of R&D and field work that proved to us what we needed to do with saddle design to take it to another level where riders can function and horses can move more freely than in any other saddle system. I'm going to just take a few minutes today to go over the highest level of the saddle design and the modular elements that make it a super customizable fit for every saddle on every horse and customizable for the rider as well. We have other videos in the series that take you deeper down into the technology and the science that introduce you to the components in a much more intimate way. But let's start with just the highest level today. I'd like to show you first the flapless saddle. Here it is. Uh, by removing the flap, we found that the riders are more stable. This is evidenced in a study done for us by Dr. Hillary Clayton. And although it looks strange, it feels remarkably conventional, it's just easier to use from the rider's perspective. From the horse's perspective, the panels, and I'll show you more about them in a moment, are flexible and move when the horse moves. This saddle is done in padded calf. We have a variety of leathers. We have a variety of thigh blocks. More on that in a moment as well. And we have a group of highly trained and, and really cool women, our saddle science experts, who can help you anytime over phone, over email, um, through direct messaging, figure out how to make our, our saddles and our technology work for you and for your horse. But moving on from the basic saddle, let's come over here to one. This saddle is brown and it has a notable difference. You'll see instead of having a thigh block, it's got a loop Velcro patch. And we make this saddle because just as horses are so different from each other, so are riders. And we make a variety of thigh blocks to go on that Velcro patch, as many thigh blocks in shapes and sizes as there are riders' thighs. During your test ride, we'll send you a variety of blocks so that you can experiment with positioning the block at whatever height and whatever angle you might need to feel supported and most effective as a rider. Once you've chosen the position for the block during your trial, we can manufacture a saddle for you with a block custom set for your body. Or some riders choose this version and keep this tester version because you can, over time, change your block size, change your block position, uh, and as you either evolve as a rider or use the saddle on different horses, you stay supported. The saddle sits on top of panels. The panel is extraordinarily flexible. It's quite thin. It's thinner than flocking on most saddles or padding underneath most saddles, so you're actually closer to the horse. And the panels attach to the saddle with something called Sorbethane. Sorbethane is a dense patented rubber that was originally developed to dampen shock and vibration in the aerospace industry. And here I'll show you the profiles of our discs. They come in half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch tall. By choosing a different height and positioning the disc, the panel contour angle and the balance of the saddle all can be changed very quickly and easily. The discs also have different densities. Our softest sorbethane disc gives you an incredibly cushioned and shock absorbing ride. So follow me for a moment. Let's take a look at how the saddle actually functions when you're using it and riding the horse. How it moves and how it gives the horse freedom but the rider stability at the same time. A lot of the magic is this disc. The disc in the front creates the angle of the panel and provides a critical gap between the panel and the saddle so that the panel can move and flex. The panels are independently attached. This means that the left panel moves with the left shoulder, the right panel moves with the right shoulder, and these movements are not only independent, as the horse may need to move his shoulders, but you'll notice that the top of the saddle is staying perfectly still while the panels move. That means the rider is not getting tossed from left to right or side to side, but the rider's got a remarkable degree of lateral stability. 
when sitting in the saddle with these moving panels. So now I'm going to show you another feature of the panels in the rear. And here you'll see there's rear discs, which do provide shock absorbing. So when you're in that moment of coming down from the rising trot, or that moment in canter where the rider's seat comes down and the horse's back comes up, uh, the forces that are generated by the rider's weight are really dissipated by these discs. The other thing they do is let the panels really conform to the true shape of the horse's back from the spine down to the rib cage. Many panels in the rear don't do a proper job of weight distribution and instead can sit on just an edge as though in this example my hands are the horse's back which is flat and the panels are at a steep angle and the horse might get a lot of pressure at the outer edge of the panel. In our case if the horse's back is steep from spine to rib cage when you get on the panels will maintain this shape but if you're riding a horse with a broad, flat loin, perhaps a big warm blood, a percheron, or simply a horse built this way, as you get on and sit down, the panels will flatten out to take on the true shape of the horse's back. When you put the system on, the weight distribution ability is really remarkable. It's got to be felt to be believed. Thank you for watching the video today. I hope you've been excited by what we're doing and want to know more. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook. We have a website at saddlescience.com and we have a team of devoted and really cool women waiting to help you through phone, email, direct message, any way that you want to reach us, we're available to talk. We're all addicted to this technology. We all ride in it ourselves and love to introduce it to others.